Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and today we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today we are looking at Representative Cliff Bentz, who represents Oregon's 2nd District. The actual 2nd District itself is the biggest district in Oregon. So it's likely the more rural parts of the state where a lot less people live. But Cliff Bentz came into office and replaced um, Greg Walden. And let's go ahead and look at his committees. Uh, do, 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 do. If I can pull this up correctly here. Yeah, two committees, two subcommittees. All right. He is on the Committee of Natural Resources, of which he is on the subcommittees for federal lands and the subcommittee for water, wildlife, and fisheries. He is also on the Committee on the Judiciary of which he is on the subcommittee for courts, intellectual property, and the internet, and the subcommittee for the administrative state, regulatory reform, and antitrust. Now, let's look at who Cliff is as an individual. He was born in Salem, Oregon, on January the 12th, 1952, graduated from Regis High School in Staten, Oregon in 1970. He was an uh, Eastern, he attended the Eastern Oregon State College in La Grand, Oregon in 1974. He earned a JD from Lewis and Clark College. Sorry, he earned a B.S. from Eastern Oregon State College in La Grande, Oregon in 1974. Earned a J.D. from Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon in 1977. He's been a rancher, a farmer, a lawyer, a private practice lawyer, a member of the Oregon Water Resources Commission from 1988 to 1996. Chairman of that organization from 1994 to 1996, a member of the Oregon State House of Representatives from 2008 to 2018, member of the Oregon State Senate from 2018 to 2020, and finally elected as a Republican to the 117th Congress and the following Congress. So, yeah, he's on his second term. Now, let's go ahead and look at the uh, industries, top industries that have donated to him over his career in Congress. At the top, we have retired, which has donated altogether $244,154. Next, at number two, Livestock, which is donated $223,375. Next, at number three, Crop Production and Basic Processing, which is donated altogether $187,425. Next, at number four, is Forestry and Forest Products, which is donated altogether $107,700. And lastly, at number five, we have Leadership Packs, which is donated altogether $92,000. Now, let's look at this top five individual donors and contributors. At the top, we have the Majority Committee Pack. All I know, it's a Republican Pack. Uh that helps uh, get Republicans 
elected and re-elected to office. Um, it seems to be affiliated with Kevin McCarthy, who is the Speaker of the House right now. So, But yeah, altogether they have donated $20,000. And once again, that's the Majority Committee PAC. Next, at number two, we have the National Association of Realtors. They are an American trade association for those who work in the real estate industry. And altogether, it has donated $20,000. And once again, that's the National Association of Realtors. Next, at number three, we have the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, and they are an American trade association and lobbying group working for American beef producers. You know, beef, what's for dinner? But altogether, they have donated $20,000. And once again, that's the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Next, at number four. We have Acton Ranch. They are a ranch located in Druze, Oregon, that primary operate primarily operates in the general farms, primarily animals uh, business industry within the agricultural production, livestock, and animal specialty sector. Uh, all together, it has donated $16,800. And once again, that's Acton Ranch. And last, at number five, we have Metro West Ambulance, which is an ambulance company based in Oregon with ambulances and wheelie vans along the Oregon coast under the names of Pacific West Ambulance, Bay Cities Ambulance, and Medics Ambulance. Now, altogether, they have donated $16,400. And once again, that's Metro West Ambulance. But this has been a look at Cliff Bent's who represents the second district of Oregon. But, as always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tries to tell you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. As always, I'll be putting my sources in the description box down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.